This tutorial is about neon text effects and I know you are already familiar with neon text effects because they are eye catching and perfect for advertisements. You can see neon text on restaurant signs, billboards and sometimes in YouTube studios. These effects are designed with glowing letters, can be used for logos, posters, signs and more. There are different ways to create neon text effects especially in Premiere Pro. So in this tutorial, I am gonna show you one of the easiest methods to create neon text effects in Premiere Pro. We have a background on the timeline with a duration about 5 seconds. I chose this wall as a background because it creates a dark and nighttime ambience which is more effective for neon text effects. Now let's start typing on the program monitor. First ensure that nothing is selected by clicking on the blank area. Then select the type tool and double click on the program monitor to enable typing. You can type whatever you like. In my case, I'm gonna type it was merely a dream. Then go to the window to enable essential graphics, which is also important for styling the text. Now you can select only this portion of the text to set color and font size among other options. In the essential graphics tab, click on all caps to capitalize all the selected text. Next you can change the font, Roboto might be a better option. You can also adjust the font size to around 67. Let's change the font fill color to red or something that best fits neon effects. The stroke is important so make sure to enable it. The stroke color set to white which is good. Keep the stroke width at on and make sure to select the outer options as well. Now change D to a capital D. After that select the word dream. Choose a font that resembles handwriting. Let's go with the rational font. Lastly change the fill color for dream. Click on the color and select a color from the color picker pop-up window. You can choose a color like dark cyan that works best for neon effects. I'll provide the color code so you can copy it if needed. Then hit ok. Now enable the stroke. Ensure that the stroke width is set to 1 and it is set to outer. It's time to click on the center align text. Next click on the align center horizontally and align center vertically to center all the text. Now let's switch back to the selection tool as most of the tasks for typing tool are done. You have the options to change the zoom level of the program monitor which allows you to make your tasks smoother. Now let's drag this text layer to the fifth track of the timeline and adjust its duration to match with the background layer. This time we need to duplicate it so first hold on the alter key on the keyboard then drag it down using the mouse. Next select the text layer and then go to the essential graphics. Make sure the layer is highlighted. Now you may notice here the changes, the fill and stroke settings is a bit different. To resolve this, double click and select the red portion of the text and then you gain access to change the color of the selected text. Let's change the stroke color from white to red by using the eyedropper tool. You can also adjust the width from 1 to 2. Now it's time to focus on the rest of the text. Double click on the word dream to select it. Then use the dropper tool to pick a color from the fill color area. Additionally adjust the stroke width to 2. Now let's switch back to the selection tool. If I hide the upper text layer, you will be able to see the underneath text layer which help you to understand the changes we have made. If you wanna view only the upper text layer, please hide the underneath layer. Now make sure that the underneath text layer is selected. Then navigate to the effects tab and search for the Gaussian blur effect. Apply this effects to the underneath text layer. Next go to the effect controls and make some adjustments. Locate the Gaussian blur effect and increase the blur intensity to around 30 for the neon effect. Now scroll down to the blend options. You have a variety of choices here. You can change it to lighting or screen depending on your preference. Let me show the difference by showing and hiding the both text layers. Now grab the underneath text layer and drag it down while holding down the alter key to create another duplicate copy. Then ensure that the first text layer from the bottom is selected. After all, go to the effect controls and change the blurriness to around 40 to enhance the text glow for the neon effect. This is one of the easiest ways to create neon effects. You can make an additional duplicate copy of the text layer. Now select the layer and increase its blurriness to around 200 as we will use this text layer for light flickering effects. First let's adjust the program monitor level to fit then if desired you can move the time indicator a few frames forward and then use the razor tool to make a few cuts in different areas of this text layer to remove certain portions for the light flickering effects. 
Once your cutting is done, simply delete the portions from the layer, just like this tutorial. To view only the neon text effects, you can play the video by pressing the space bar on the keyboard. Yeah, this neon effect looks good. If you wanna make it better, let's move on to the next step of this tutorial. First, deselect everything by clicking on this blank area. Then use the rectangle tool to draw a rectangle around the neon text. After that, switch back to the selection tool. Navigate to the essential graphics panel and ensure that the shape on layer is selected. If the fill option is enabled for your project, please disable it. Next, adjust the stroke width to 1 and it is set to center. Now choose a white color for the stroke. If you want, you can adjust the corners of the rectangle by moving this little icon. Let's zoom in on the program monitor for a better view to help you with adjusting the corner of the rectangle. Next, drag the shape layer to the 8 track of the timeline, placing it in the right position following the text layers. Create a duplicate copy by holding down the Alter key. Then go to the essential graphics panel and change the stroke color to something like blue that best suits the neon effect. After that, add the stroke width to around 15. Next, apply the Gaussian blur effect from the effects tab to the duplicate shape layer and set its blurriness to around 30. I also recommend changing the blend mode from normal to screen. Make another duplicate copy of the second shape layer from the top. Select the new shape layer and set its blurriness to 60. At this point, you can reset the program monitor zoom level to fit. Now select all of the shape layer from the top, right click any of the selected shape layer, choose nest and hit the ok. This action makes them into a single layer. Then use the razor tool to make cuts on the nested layer. You can also create a cuts in sync with the background music beats if desired. After making the cuts, switch back to the selection tool and delete some portions from the nested layer. Finally, play the video to see your final neon text animation effect. That's the end of this tutorial. I have tried an easy way to create a neon text effect without investing too much time. I hope to see you in the next tutorial. <laughs>